Real 92.3, LA's new home for hip-hop and big boy big bankroll. Boy. We always talk about it, man. The booty doctor. The booty doctor. Yes, the booty doctor is here. Dr. Nyko, yeah, welcome man. to the neighborhood. Hey, guys. What's up? Thanks for having me. Oh, man. Up, thank you for Dr. coming Nyko. in. Yeah, yeah. We, we really wanted to sit down with you because we wanted you to evaluate some of these flat asses that we have in here. <laughs> <laughs> now, first, first, I, first, I do have to ask you, Dr. Dr. Nyko, the booty doctor. How does one become the booty doctor mm-hmm. first? Yes. Hard work. Get right on that mark. Hard, hard work and a lot of dedication. Yeah, you know? I can imagine. Uh, just a lot of uh, school training and then just paying attention to that booty. That's yeah. Come the booty as you should. Yeah, as like you should. School yeah, school yeah. training. You, you, I can't, you, it could have gotten yeah. really creepy really <laughs> yeah. fast. So, I had, yeah. I so had you training. always been like the booty doctor, or has it always been that that part of, of surgery? You know, it's it's really crazy. I think the booty craze has really yeah. just happened in the past like five years. Yeah, no, man. No, but before this, like in plastic surgery or, or, or cosmetic surgery, when I did cosmetic surgery training. It was something that was talked about. It wasn't something that was done that right. much. Was it more taboo as well? Like kind of done in, you know, behind closed doors. Like it wasn't as, as you know, out how people there. out there yeah. it is today. It, yeah, it, 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 you're absolutely right. It was something that was just sort of there. Is one yeah. of the procedures that, that could be done but isn't requested that much. You know, right. typically. Were uh, patients trying to do it in secret as well? No, I, no, I don't think it was really till, you know, I think J-Lo mm-hmm. started, started mm-hmm. kind of put it. On the board, and it kind of blipped up there, right? Right, right. And then Do you I think, think J-Lo's ass is enhanced old, as a doctor? Old, new J-Lo, yes. Old J-Lo, no. I think old J-Lo, that was a real booty. Really? What about Beyonce? Wait, hold on. Yeah. Let, let's not run through yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, so you think <laughs> that- I love J-Lo, though. Right. I want to throw that out there. So, But of as course. the booty doctor, mm-hmm. you're saying that the old J-Lo ass was probably I think, real. I think and it was there's real. something that's done now. Cause it, but it looks smaller to me. It does. What do you think? That she got a lift or something? I- yeah, I think so. I think probably a lift, maybe possibly an implant. I'm not totally <gasps> sure. Right. I don't know. I don't she know. She is Puerto okay. Rican, though. Are you know. sure? Because I don't she, know. She's in great shape. Well, black How girls old are is J-Lo, yeah. though? She's 47, 48, 49. Almost 50. This, wow. This is just a rule of mine. If it looks too good, it's probably fake. That's just... At a certain wow. age? or no. just I think just, in general. Don't you think oh, in general? man, I got so many uh, I have social a friend media that has girls a I want really you to look nice through. Butt. Yeah. It's insane. And do you think it's fake? Or you think it's no, real? No, I think it's real. Well, she's it's lucky real. then. Her it boobs, can happen. Yeah. I'm not saying it can't happen. Like my wife, flat. they used to always ask her, was her ass done? All the time. And, and, and even before it really became like the phenomenon yeah. of her, her, her butt is fake. Because I remember the first time when I used to hear her butt is fake, I'm like, man, nobody's getting that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 totally. And I remember a co-worker of mine by the name of Liz. It was some girl that we used to always see, and Liz was like, her butt is fake. And Dr. Nyko, I remember saying, dude, she's black. Black girls don't get fake ass. That's her, her, her ass, naturally. <laughs> now I look and I'm like, oh. Shit. Everybody got a fake yeah. Everybody got, See, that's the thing. If it looks too good, it's fake. Mm-hmm. Right. Do you get more people doc coming to you now like because at one point everybody wanted breasts yes Mm -hmm. now it seems like booty surgery is is really taking over we went from like the top to the bottom right yeah Yeah, (laughs) i love it flip that hourglass around so did you do a lot of uh, a lot of breasts first totally yeah i think you know five years ago that's that's pretty much what people come in for breasts tummy tucks i think uh as liposuction's really advanced so Mm -hmm. it's allowed us to tighten up the skin yeah. in addition to take the fat down, which is really, I think, sort of taken away the need for tummy tucks as much. And then also the new liposuctions really improve the fat transfer rates. I think those two things really allowed fat transfer to the butter, that butt augmentation craze while it was building at the same time. I think part of the Kardashians, et cetera, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. we were able to get the technology that got us to get the when results. When you look at like wow. a Kim or a, a, a Chloe, do you know what kind of procedures they got? I don't know for sure, right? But those are fake booties. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. I mean, definitely. Yeah. Fake booties, right? yeah. yeah, that yeah. is easy. But to but tell. but yeah, you, right, that's you, nothing special. The but yeah. you can't look and say, "Oh, that's a such and such," and I know how she did that, or you know, not for sure. I mean, okay. I I think uh, definitely some type of injections I think are, are done. Um, I'm not sure if it's a booty. Have you done any celebrities? Why well, I can't tell you. I yes. know. Yes. Okay, yeah. The answer is okay. yes, but I can't tell okay, you. Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. Are they in this room? Doctor patient. Oh, I said celebrities, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm sorry, Dr. Nyko. I'm sorry, booty doctor. What kind of procedures do you have? Like when people say, Oh, she got her butt done. Are there different types yeah. of procedures? And explain mm-hmm. to me. Totally. So we got we got three types of procedures. Mm-hmm. Uh the first type is liposuction fat transfer. That's kind of I think like the gold standard. And the reason is because fat is so, soft, squishy, and natural. So that gives you that really nice, natural, 
shape. The other thing is, but why doesn't it go all over the place? Yeah, well, how does, well, it, how does stay? it stay? Yeah, Where can yeah. Put it? totally. So it, a great question. So it, it, having somebody sculpt it appropriately, I think is mm. is right. You're right. We want to make sure we put that fat in the right places because if we put it in the wrong places. And you've seen those results. You look mm-hmm. at it, you're like that. But how much good. fat could it possibly be? Because yeah. I have a friend of mine yeah. that she got hers done, and I'm I don't know. I think she did the fat transfer. Yeah, I'm yeah, not totally. sh- I'm not sure. But I'm like, dude, I didn't know you had this much fat. Yeah. So great question. So I think it depends on a couple things. One, how much fat do you have on your body? Mm-hmm. Right. Number one. Number two, what are your goals? Do you want that booty to be big? Do you want that booty to be small? Number three. How much is your skin going to stretch and hold, right? right? Mm. Just like a water balloon, filling up a water mm. balloon. You can put it underneath the sink all day, but that water balloon stretches out at some point in time. It's only going to get so big. Mm-hmm. Um, so that, that, that kind of determines how much fat. Typically, most people are getting around 700 cc's or 700 mLs to 1,000 mLs per size. And so, do people have that or you ha- they have to gain weight or... Everybody's different. Some people, some people have it. Some people have more than that. Some people don't have enough. Mm-hmm. So uh, it just kind of depends on what we're trying to do and what our goals are. We do skinny bbls all the time i kind of call like a skinny bbl or a fit bbl what's the bbl sorry brazilian butt lift that's it that's the gamers okay brazilian butt lift all righty um so we do skinny or fit bbls all the time and yeah you you don't have a ton of fat on your body but we don't need to do too much because you're in really good shape you got a nice booty we just need to kind of take some of that stubborn fat that hangs out in those flanks and just kind of move them to the hips (laughs) round that out get that nice hourglass and that stays it stays yeah (laughs) what happens but don't you burn fat like so that, that, that fat doesn't burn. That's a great. Away? Qu- that's a great question. So, after about four weeks, the fat that's there is going to continue to be there, and then it's going to behave like your normal fat. So, if you gain weight, it's going to gain weight. If Damn. you lose weight, it's going to go down. So, you think about like even when you're in your best shape or your best physique, you still have those pockets of fat. Typically, like for me, they hang out kind of you know in the back sort of flank area that mm. still stick around. That you're like, I wish I could just get that down. So we take that fat and we move that to your butt. So now instead of you being upset. When you're at your best shape and you're like, oh, man, I still got this fat sitting here. It's now sitting on your booties, on your hips, giving you that beautiful so you round shape. you do put it on the hips. Oh, yeah, I think you have because to. Because there's, there's girls that I've seen that didn't have like a shape. And like mm-hmm. now they're like yeah. super like hourglass. So totally. I'm like, totally. are yeah. they getting fat like Box. here like yeah. as well? Yeah. Totally, yeah. Because I'm SpongeBob. So can I, I become think you a Coke look great. bottle? I don't think you like SpongeBob, but <laughs> I, I, I like your Coke bottle. It's pretty yeah. close. So, <laughs> Shut up. Yeah. Or, or Give sponge, me his fat. Sponge he has Barbara. A lot of fat. You know what I'm saying? More of a, more of a sponge Barbara. Do you Barbara. really want can that? Can I borrow his fat? fat in you, though? Yeah. I don't really have too much <laughs> fat to give, you to be honest. You want that fat in you? Hello. <laughs> That's a lot. You want that fat That's in you? That's fat. Hey, Lou, sound like she want that fat in her. You know what I mean? Hello. We have to wait for the booty doctor to come here for you to do that love. Fat transfer. Yeah. Oh, okay, so the fat transfer, is that's the one we're speaking on, right? Yeah, yeah. That, and then what's the other? So we got butt implants, right? Okay. So, so butt implants are kind of that next jump up where you're saying, I want that booty to pop. You know, because mm-hmm. again, fat is soft, squishy, natural. So fat, the negative to fat transfers or BBLs, Brazilian butt lifts, it's soft, squishy, it's natural. How much can you get that fat to really push that booty out to get mm-hmm. that projection? And there's a limit because it's soft, squishy, natural. So when we want that pop, when we really want that booty to really push out, that's when we need to bring an implant in. Mm-hmm. Or- if you're really flat and you say, well, how could you go from somebody that's that flat all of a sudden to a booty that's, you know, bam, where, where mm-hmm. did that come from? It came because we put an implant in. Mm-hmm. That's how we did it. And then what do is- you put fat on top of the implant? Yeah, we'll usually put fat still on that booty to kind of round it out to put the hips and into the, to those hip dents. Kind of to your point, you said, oh, you put fat the- to, to the hips and to the right. hip dents. So, yeah, we do because we want to get that booty rounder sort of more aesthetically pleasing and looking better. Because I always say a big butt isn't necessarily a better looking mm-hmm. butt, right? right? Hippos so, have big butts. Yeah. Especially like well, girls that have like skinny butts, legs. So. <laughs> Do you? Yeah, man. I just, <laughs> they get you going. I just have hippo butts all over the place. How all kind of lovely artwork. Those little fish that are always <laughs> yeah, in that yeah, little like, Look, at these, yeah, look yeah, at these hippo butts. Yeah. <laughs> the, the butt implant, what does it uh, feel like? Is it similar to what, an implant, that, like a breast implant? No, it's a like, great question. It's slightly different. So it kind of feels like those, you know, those stress balls, those stress mm-hmm. reliever balls. It's, mm. it's firm. So unlike Got a breast it. implant, that's more sort of fluid feeling. Orthopedic. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah. The the It'll booty implant's got a little bit firmer, kind of like a good squat. You know what I mean? Okay. It's got a little good, good firm, firm feeling to it. Unlike a breast implant, it is considered a semi-permanent device. So legally, no implant's going to say, oh, this is permanent. Mm. Right. But it's not meant to be changed out once you get it put in, assuming you don't have any issues or any problems. Is or, it small incisions or? It's, uh, it depends on how big you want that booty implant, oh, I think. Wow. But the nice thing about the incisions for a butt implant is we kind of put them on the inside of the butt cracks or, or the inferior booty oh. folds. So it's hidden. It's totally nice. hidden. And I think that's the beauty of it too. Damn. So yeah. you got a scar in there. In there. 
in the booty crack. Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't quite know how to say it for radio. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, <laughs> yeah. I, I, we should have brought you in for Big Boy's Neighborhood Uncut. I could have really said what I wanted to say. <laughs> how many? Do you know the number of how many procedures, a guesstimate of how, that you've done? Uh, well, we can figure it out. So I typically do, if it's like a slow, slow week, we're doing six to eight a week. So that, oh. that that's slow. So six Damn. to eight a week, we're doing you know, four, 30, uh, 30 a month. If that's if it's super, super slow. So we're doing a slow year, 360, 400 of these procedures. So damn near an average of one a day. Oh yeah! Easy. Oh yeah! Easy. Oh yeah! Wow! Oh yeah! 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 We had we you know we had to move the schedule around just for me to get in here. I know. I'm, I know. I'm happy you had me. I'm Somebody probably cursing it. right now. Yeah, like, yeah. wait, what yeah. the hell? Booty, one so, more somebody day. with a small booty is just is just yeah. really upset right yeah. now. Rolling around like, are you finished up there or what? <laughs> Going down. That is crazy. How now with doing the work? Of course, the person is is laying down. How do you know perfection once they stand up and a month later and. That's a great question, man. So I think so. the The difference between good liposuction, good body contouring, good fat transfer, good bo booty augmentation is we don't want to do it from just one position. So we show you know our videos all the time on Instagram. Yeah, and Snapchat. I hate just doing it in one yeah, position. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Real talk. <laughs> yeah. Hello. So your three your 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 three D object. So we want to move you and or, or fat transfer you, sculpt you from three dimensions. So we will do it from. You lying on your tummy, we'll put you up on your side, we'll put you up on your other side, ah. we'll have you laying on your back. And, mm -hmm. and we show all these videos of us doing that because I think that helps to sort of demystify what do we do? Yeah. How do we get the how mm -hmm. do we get these great results? What separates our results from some of the other results? Do you look at a lot of booties even when you're not at work, like in the mall, at the store? Are you always like, Oh, I could make that look way better? Not so much. My, my wife is always asking me, she's like, Is that fake booties? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I always go back and forth. I'm like, Nikki, if it if it if it's too good to be true, it's fake. Right, it's right. Fake. Is your wife booty fake? No, it's real. That's oh, real. Okay. That's real. She's, <laughs> just... <laughs> She's trying to get that discount. Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> would you do her butt for free? I guess you would. Yeah. Yo, I think you'd have to. Could you yeah, imagine yeah. trying to charge your wife for? Yeah. for some oh. <laughs> well, I charge my wife when I do like events and everything. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah her birthday is coming up. I'll, I'll write her an invoice. <laughs> when someone does get a procedure, let's say a uh, fat transfer, the Brazilian butt lift. Yeah. What's the recovery time? Great question. So. Mm -hmm. Biggest aspect of the recovery time is. He said aspect. <laughs> Boom. Hello. Boom. Is uh, no, <laughs> no oh. sitting on the booty at all for one week. Okay. Wow. One week. We want what to happens if you do sit down? Because I've seen, I don't know if, it, if it's something I've just seen online <laughs> or if it's real, but I've seen where asses are just like flat and. Yeah. 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 So I, I think you're right. So if we, we, we want to let that fat take in that area. We want to let that flat, fat grow, you know, become home in that booty we don't want to force that fat out so we mm -hmm. want you off that booty that first week after that then we use a booty pillow which is basically mm -hmm. like a booty booster to keep yeah. that butt off the ground for another three weeks wow, wow. so yeah. most people probably like stay home or they're just in the car and laying in the back seat mm -hmm. well, <laughs> if you see like a girl at work with like a booty pillow then you know that yeah. you got some work <laughs> or if yeah. we see somebody a month like oh if y'all start doing the show like this <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm just trying to stand yeah. up yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, 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 no. no it was leg day it yeah. was leg day <laughs> Ooh, my legs are killing me my oh. legs uh, how funny now and, and of course you're seeing it more just in the average everyday person you know what I'm saying it's oh, yeah. not just you it's, know it's mainstream at one point it was like dancers and yeah, then, totally. yeah, you're seeing it just the, the, the housewives and everything. Uh, everybody. I think, you know, what we do uh, and what we, we try to really focus on is we try to focus on hourglass body contouring, mm -hmm. right? Because I think, like, everybody's seen really big booties and you're like, that does that that doesn't look that good, right? It's, right. Not, it's not balanced with the body. It doesn't or look little good. legs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, legs. Will you tell someone that they're doing too much? Or? Yeah, totally. Okay. So I think the important thing when someone comes in is I always like to let them tell me what their goals are. Hey, right. what are your goals? And then I can say, okay, these are the options that we can best achieve your goals. If I think that it's not safe, then I'll say, this isn't safe, we shouldn't do it. Or if I think, hey, we can't achieve your goals or your goals are unachievable, I'll say, it's, it's not the best option for you, we shouldn't do it. Mm, I'm wondering, man. There's one I want to give to somebody, but I don't know if she'll take it. <laughs> you want to gift a booty? Yeah, man. I, I, I'm into this. Okay, I like okay, the idea. Yeah. I like the idea. But I don't know if I they would want it because oh, it's public yeah. and it's on radio. I'm good. Well, we about Even to we about to disappear public. for uh for the holidays. Yeah, that's you want to come back in 2019? You got no. Well, yeah, one month. You're yeah. <laughs> And we all fake it, like, oh my God, she's in here working out. Yeah. You know? Look at her. Yeah. Damn. What did you do, girl? Girl. girl? New Year, give me. What? <laughs> now, when did you do Natalia's? How long ago? <laughs> <laughs> Was that last week? No, was that my, last week? I the think? mine would it be had a little bit three, four years. or like less hippie. <laughs> you know? I think if it if it was fake. Oh, Have you done things where it's like it almost looked impossible? Yeah, like flat, flat. Really? Yeah. So we so and this is cool. Um, 
we show a lot of our, our stuff on Instagram and Snapchat, and mm-hmm. uh, a lot of before and afters will so, show the surgery so you can kind of see it. And, and we, that's what people consent? Uh, and, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. We're not just Because you're not in there. You know yeah. that one doctor, she was, I think I she was in Florida, but she was in there dancing and doing yeah. rap videos. What was going on with that? Like, was no. Yeah. yeah no, she I, was no, crazy. I think everybody got consent, though. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm just talking about this not. one lady that that got a no. She, she didn't no, have you, consent. You wouldn't consent to that. She was doing rap videos. Oh wow, yeah. it was crazy. Because yeah. there was, was another doctor that did have consent. He would always play like rap songs and even rappers. They mm-hmm. wouldn't be in the actual video. No, this was but, the lady, man. Oh, yeah. but go, go ahead, doc. You yeah. So you? our our objective of it is we just try to demystify what goes on in the OR because I think mm-hmm. all of us right. have questions like, hey, what's going on? What's this procedure doing? Mm-hmm. We kind of feel like if we show it to you educationally, it's positive for you, right? Um. So I think that that's that's always helpful. So we were getting a lot of people saying. These these pictures look fake. I don't think what you did was real. So we have actually now started doing these videos, these before and after videos Damn. to show people because our results are really good and people uh, weren't believing that they were real because you would look at it, you'd be like, there's no way that you were able you to do that. you ever get any porn actresses in? I can't tell you that. Write their number down. Yeah, I got yeah. yeah. What's up? <laughs> yeah. We, we just going to go and hang out in the front. Yeah. Do you ever, um, do you ever get like um, guys bringing in their girls and paying for this? I'm pretty sure. Yes, but or is I, it mostly the women who come in and they pay on, on their behalf, or is it like somebody? Well, I mean, I think you know, I think it kind of depends on whatever their their specific yeah. setup is. I think the important thing is like you know, if that we're doing the surgery, who's mm-hmm. ever getting the surgery done, we're doing it for them, gotcha. and I think that's what we always want to make sure. Mm-hmm. Hey, are we doing this for you? Right. Um, regardless of who's, I mean, sometimes you get people in and it's you know somebody else that's paying for the surgery. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, anybody can yeah. pay for the surgery. Yeah, I just want to yeah. make sure the person's yeah. getting done is yeah, Mister Daddy, yeah. aka Sugar, sometimes yeah, pretty much. <laughs> have, have you done <laughs> any saying. men? But yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. What does a man come in and yeah. ask for? Because I lost like three hundred pounds, over three hundred pounds. <laughs> now, you look good I have, now. Thank you, I appreciate you. you. I look good. good back then, bastard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How about you look good now? What the fuck? <laughs> Uh, I, I, know that, I know that compliment this. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh my God, you look good now. So glad you took care of yourself. It would have been impossible to Paul Barry. How are they going to hold your casket? Wow. Like for real. You know, that's just rude. <laughs> you know, but yeah, and I have like loose skin on oh, earmuffs, everybody. No, sorry, but I have loose skin on my on my butt. Yeah. You know, so should I come in and get a procedure or? So the so the loose. I don't skin, want no Kim Kardashian ass. Uh, that's what you. You know get. what I'm saying. I'm just letting you know. Unless that's there's a hundred million attached to it. Yeah, yeah, exactly right. <laughs> I definitely blow my ass up for a hundred million. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I you would too. God. Yeah, I would too. Would, would you get your ass done like Kim Kardashian for a year? Hell for a hundred yeah. million. If I knew hundred million was going to come do in. That. Yeah. I, I would do it. A hundred million. Yeah. yeah. I try to do it to myself. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Like, yeah. How does this look? You know. But yeah, what do men come in and get? Uh, so typically they're just looking to get more of a of a fit booty, right? They're feeling like, oh, they're just they're just square and there's no definition between their their back and their butt. So they're just trying to get that little bit of that more muscular <laughs> that more muscular look. So I got the elephant booty, that's what I call it. Because <laughs> my pants always just fall off. Can you oh, give me yeah, some booty? Yeah, I have my, like no ass. So my can actually yeah. hold up. I was walking last week for real, for real, doc, and my pants <laughs> fell down. <laughs> like I have no ass. And then I got a tire and, and I'm black. You know what I'm saying? And somewhere there's a white dude with a gang of ass. <laughs> yeah, so we probably need to come down on the on the package deal. Yeah, <laughs> so what was, what was the last? And I don't want to laugh or discourage the fellas. You know what I'm saying? If that's because I've, got, I've no, gotten real. surgery myself. You know, as far Go as it. gastric yeah. bypass and skin removal. But when was the last time you did like a man and the man came in uh, to get this a month? Lift? We we typically do it every you know. I heard frequently. that. Yeah, hmm. yeah. All righty. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Hey, it works for me. Hell yeah, that's you know? crazy. Hey, what if I was asking all these questions? Hey, did I hit you up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Doc, back. I didn't know how to say it in the room. Now, listen, don't say anything. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't, Beginning you know. of January, this is you. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to come back in January not standing up. I mean, not being able to sit down for a couple weeks. It's my new thing. Yeah, be like, Ben, what did you do? Like, man, would y'all tell me if y'all knew, would y'all ask if y'all knew I got like silent work done? Hell yeah, I would ask okay. you. Yeah, yeah, don't, cause don't I, be I too. Okay. I would ask you. Now that I have permission. You wouldn't? I feel like everybody else be asking each other. There's some people here that I feel like got work, but I don't know how to ask. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't know how to ask, but I've seen I'm like, mm, I know you I did. would ask you. Yeah, yeah. Oh man. What would you say? Like if I was walking around and like my ass was a little I would bigger. Ask you. I'm like, hey Vic, did you get your butt done? And I'll say, yeah, the booty doctor, you. Dr. Michael. <laughs> you know what I mean? oh, Can you imagine the commercials? Hey, what up, y'all? It's your partner, Big Boo. Here for the booty doctor, man. <laughs> don't meet me there, beep you all that. <laughs> <laughs> for those out there that's listening. Where and how do they get in touch with you? Uh, for anyone that's listening, we, we do a lot through social media. So Snapchat, we're Butts by Design. Instagram, we're SoCal Plastic Surgeon. We also have one, Butts by Design. Website, Butts by Design. Mm-hmm. Uh, phone number, one eight three three my booty oh, or You got my booty? Yeah, one eight three three wild butt Either one of those. Damn. Damn. 
Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. But I heard that my <laughs> booty was somebody sitting on that. No, no pun intended. <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. He's here all night. Yeah, you know, really, I don't want to be here all night. You know, so let's uh, finish up this interview. No, go ahead. Now. What's What's the maintenance like, though? I always wonder, like, when all these people get out of these surgery, if they think about what it's going to be like in ten years and an oil change. Yeah, pretty much an oil change. Like, what happens? Great question. So, when most of what we're doing is body sculpting or lipo contouring, lipo sculpting. So, part of I think the upkeep is to try and maintain that current weight, right? I'm sculpting mm. you at a certain weight right. with your certain body fat deposited places. So if you gain 20 pounds, you're going to look different. If you mm. lose body. 20 pounds, you're going to look different. Every 10 pounds is about 40 sticks of butter. So, I mean, if we put that all over your body, that's going to change the result. Right. Mm. What about the horror stories that we hear? Is it more of the doctor or the patient or a combination of both? I think, I think it's... To be fair, things got to be a combination of both, right? And I think like that's why things like board certified plastic surgeons exist. You know, and that's you, of course. Yeah, I, yeah absolutely. Well. I, the board is there solely to protect the patient, to make right. sure that physicians are doing things that are. How safe. much do you discourage the basement stuff? And yeah, you know, because you hear a lot of craziness. Oh, oh they injected cement. them with cement, and Ooh. yeah, I, I discourage it uh, as much as I can. You know, mm-hmm. I try to try to. It's a soapbox. I, I try to stand on about it, and I, and I try to put it like this. You know, if you went to a BMW dealership. And you were trying to get the car for $5,000. And they'd say, yeah, I'll sell you this Beamer right over here for $5,000. You would have to say, well, what did you take out of that BMW? Right, 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 what right. did you do to that BMW that, that I can get that for five grand? What is wrong with that? Yeah. And, and you should be asking the same question. Quality control costs money. It costs money to have people there to make mm-hmm. sure that you're safe. Mm-hmm. You, you want to pay for that when it's your life. I heard and that. we hear about that. That, that just happened in, in Mexico, not, you know, mm-hmm. very recently mm-hmm. with that people from Yeah, Austin. you just hear these horror stories. Is there anyone that you would turn down? Uh, could, do people come in? For one, do you ever get somebody that try to come in underage? You're like, ah, stop it. Um, we do get people that reach out to us on social media and we say, you've got to be 18. You've right. Be 18. Have you had a parent ever bring a kid in? Somebody under 18? Um, I have, and I've said you've you've got to be eighteen right. for, for us to. Damn, that's crazy! That's good. Man, get on in yeah. the car. Come on down. We're I, going to see the booty doctor. I, I, I think the mark of a good plastic surgeon or, or good of any professional is that they're willing to turn people down. That right. they're willing to tell you, "Hey, that's not good. That's not safe. That's not in your best interest." It's not always easy to do, and it's not necessarily best for you, but it's the best thing for that mm-hmm. person. And how can I get in touch with you once again, Doctor Nichol? Uh, SoCal Plastic Surgeon Instagram, Butts by Design on Snapchat www.buttsbydesign on, on the web and one eight three three my booty Monica, please get on that mic and ask this. I answered it and she was like, what? Do you think that... Go go over a little bit more. Go over to iDay's mic because Dan, Daniel's over here mad at everybody. Do you think that Amber Rose's butt is real? No, I think it's fake. I think uh, you know anything that looks too good is mm-hmm. probably fake. That's mm-hmm. fake but booty. But it looks like her thighs match. Yeah, I think she... And every, people insist that her body is real. I don't think so. I think she looks great. I think she's great. Right. Love her. I don't think that's real. Right. Do you think Beyonce's butt is real? I think if it looks too good, it ain't real. That, that, that's think just... Azalea's butt looks too good? Yes. I think that's a fake booty. Oh, Damn. Fake booty. I know. I'm just Dude, I'm, I'm getting like ruining bamboozled Santa Claus over, over here. here right? yeah. Wait, there's no Santa Claus either? I know. No. What? Might as well drop it. <laughs> oh, my God. Do you do gift certificates? We do do gift that's certificates. Dope. That's dope. That's dope. You just come downstairs like, oh, my God. <laughs> I should have registered for that when I got married. Yeah, I know. You know what I'm saying? Why not you? All right. Well, Dr. Nyko, I thank you for coming thank into you. the neighborhood. Thank you so much for having me. Really yeah. appreciate it. It was great. And it's going to be, is, say what now, honey? You got another question? Oh, please do. Please but it's do. not really booty related. But okay. I don't know if you know. You're not going to ask um, for a loan, are you? I was just wondering, yeah. huh? You're not going to ask her for a loan or nothing, right? <laughs> no. So yeah. I know you're paying out student loans. Uh, yeah. Okay. No. I can tell by some of the guests you've been booking. Okay. All right. <laughs> go, 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 go ahead now. Um, is it better to wear a bra or not to wear a bra for like the long term shape of your breast? I don't think it's going to have any impact on the long term shape of your breast. I think uh, the bra is going to give you that that cleavage, that fullness, uh-huh. and so I think you know depend upon what look you're going for. Uh-huh. But I think long term wise, I don't think it'll have any effect on it. What about posture wise? Is it bad to not wear a bra? No. Are you contemplating something? Are you thinking about yeah, something? No, I don't up? like wearing a bra, so well, I don't, usually I, I, don't. I, I but then people free, are like, then. "Oh, you're free. It's, if." But if it long term would make them saggy, then I feel like I would wear it. But I've also heard the opposite that wearing a bra weakens the skin, so it, it'll get saggier over time if you wear a bra too much. I think mm. I don't think it'll have any impact either way. I really don't. So if you don't, don't want to wear a bra, yeah. just your, your just skin's don't. gonna do what your skin's gonna but do. But make sure you wear genetics. a shirt to work, though. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's all I'm at. You know what I mean? Like, uh, you know, the let, let's not make five. it. Let's, yeah, let's not make it weird in here. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I haven't. I, I mean, in my whole career, I don't think I've worked with a nudist, but you know, it's a new day. I would. It is. But if you, you know, I would, I would rather <clears throat> you. 
wear a a shirt. All right. Okay. There you go. You know what I'm saying? Anybody else want to ask, like, what's the best cheese for a grilled cheese? Or (laughs) we we can't go out on a better note. But he came came from the breast world, so that wasn't a bad question. That's true. That wasn't a bad question. What about you, uh, Lou? Um, Does Myra need no? Oh, but, kind of. But yeah. work done. Oh, I got a girlfriend named Myra, and she's always like on social media and yeah. always looking at these videos. And she kids around about like, you know, I want to get this done. I've never had this. Cause Take she, her she, down, man. She has a kid. She has. She had a, a five year old daughter. So she's like, you know, I haven't been like this since I had the kid. So mommy makeover. Like, yeah, like she's really like we call wanting it a, to we do. We call it a mommy to milf makeover. Yeah, what mommy is the mommy to milf, to milf yeah, thing? Mom to milf. What is mom to See, milf? So we now just felt like the term uh, mommy makeover was played out. Like, mm-hmm. right? You hear that? You hear mommy makeover, and, and it doesn't really do anything to you. Right. right? It doesn't like it doesn't move the needles like what you want to be, but. Why are you getting it done? Because you want to feel better. Mom, do you want to you want to look better? You want to feel better? You want to you want to sort of kids are awesome. Mm-hmm. What they do, your body's a disaster. Right, so right. you want to try. Like, I had my first one. I was yeah. like, look at this. <laughs> Never been the same. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I have not been the same. Like my wife looked great. It's I look a effing mess. But so the mom to milf. So mom to milf makeover. So typically what that involves is you know liposuction, tummy tuck, breast lift, bre- breast augmentation. We also kind of do. The- and then you come home and leave your husband. You bastard. <laughs> Oh, I, I you know, pretty much move yeah, on. Man. You me. Yeah. Have you had any ladies that come back and be like, "Oh, I'm getting, I'm getting a divorce now"? <laughs> like, all the time. <gasps> I yes. heard that. All the time. Or, I or bet. like, you know, people will come in and they'll be with their significant other, and then, and then by the time you start doing follow ups, and, 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 <laughs> and you know, you're like, "Oh, I'll so and so the big other." I God. believe. And you're like, yeah. "Okay, yeah." yeah. I, mean, I just feel own, so good about myself. Yeah. He was holding me. Oh. He was holding me in a different place. He was holding me yeah. Down. And then the guy walk in and get his work done too. Like, oh yeah. I'll show her. He's in the room next door. <laughs> we, you know he's next door right we gotta, now. We got to yeah. stagger him, make sure we can bring him on the same day. Dr. Nyko in the uh, neighborhood, man. Thank you for coming thank to you. the neighborhood. Thank you for thank hanging you out so with much, us, man. man. I appreciate no, I, it. it was I, great. I had fun with you. And I'm I pretty sure man. at some point each one of us will call you separately <laughs> yeah. Yeah. and tell all you time. to please. Just uh, DM us. That way you yeah. can do it on the down low. You know I, mean? I can't DM you from Big Boy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Answer 714. You got to make a Finsta account. You know what I mean? If you get a 714 860. I'm just telling your number. I know that it's you. Don't say it on the radio. Just if you get I'm talking about somebody. so he'll know that it's you. I know, I know, but do it off my... It- <laughs> no, don't say that. No, I'm saying if you see that, that's Louis' number. So I got you. That makes sense. I got you. I got you. Answer it right away. All righty. Well, thank you for coming into the neighborhood, man. The booty doctor. All righty. Dr. Nyko in the neighborhood. Big boy neighborhood. Big boy. Neighborhood.